Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today, I'm so lonesome I could cry. Hank Williams. All right, uh, the original, I think, is in the key of E. Um, we're not going to do that. We're going to do it in the key of G, so it's nice and easy on the uke, okay? I'm not going to bother with a capo. I'm just going to play my G chord. Uh, third string, second fret. First string, second fret. Second string, third fret. That's my G. Uh, it's in three, four times, so we're going to have to work on our strum. Uh, it would be nice if we had a low note, like on the guitar, so we can go boom, down, down, up. But we don't have that, so we're just going to go down, 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 up. Okay, it's three, four times, three beats in a measure. So we're going to go down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Okay? I'm going to stay on the G chord for quite a while. You're going to go to a C chord next, uh, first string, third fret. That's it. And back to the G chord, uh, and then you're going to need a D7 chord. Fourth string, second fret, second string, second fret, for just one measure. Okay? Uh, you could uh, you could do like a little variation and do a G7 chord at one point. Uh, I'll give you that right now. Third string, second fret, first string, second fret, and second string, first fret. Okay? We're going to play it through without the G7 chord. Um, uh, make it nice and simple, and then I'll show you how you can add that if you would like. Okay? So, uh, it, it follows the same form for the whole song, which is great. That's the perfect song. So you just have to learn the form, and then you're off and run. You don't have to change it all. So you got yourself a G chord, and you're going to go down, 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 up. That G7 comes in like you, you play the G chord for eight measures of three, four time. Um, that's the uh, that's that's if you want to stay on the G. But in that eighth bar, you could change it to G7 uh, to make it a little different if you're getting bored. And then you got C for two, G for t two, well three actually. Um, I think of it as two. And then the next line is G for one, D7 for one, and then G for two. Uh, most of you are going to think three, but uh, I like to I like to keep those odd numbers out of it. All right, so let me play it through one time. Uh, G chord. Uh, I forget something about a whippoorwill, right? <laughs> G. Sorry, there is an intro to I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry, and I forgot all about it. So here I am three weeks later to show you how to do it. So it's, it's a G chord, and you just go down, 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 up D7, same thing, and then G. And then you're into the tune. So that's it. So it's a G chord to D7 to G. That's on the studio recording. And then you're into the song. Of course, he did it in the key of E on the guitar, uh, but we changed it on the ook to make it easier for us. Okay? That's it. Sorry I forgot. But there it is. I didn't, because it's there. 